if you deprecate a function, an option, some way to use an application, when is it okay to finally break that functionality and remove it entirely from the project? This seems like a really simple question, but you realize very, very quickly, it's really complex, especially for widespread functionality and functionality that's been around for a very, very long time. So the other day, this Reddit post was making the rounds. The deprecation madness must stop, but it won't. This is about an application that we all know and, I don't know, maybe love. Grep. Specifically the version we often use on Linux, GNU Grep. We're not talking about deprecating Grep itself, just two specific ways to use it. And there has been a long running debate about how you should use these options. Those being dash capital E, which interprets the pattern as an extended regular expression, and dash capital F, which interprets the pattern as a fixed string, not a regular expression. The alternative to using these options directly is using egrep and fgrep respectively. These are pre-installed shorthands or aliases or whatever term you want to use. And on most Linux systems, they're probably going to be there. I'm sure there is something out there where they're going to be missing though. But this isn't a GNU grep feature, and this isn't just a thing we see on Linux. This has been around way before Linux, and for a long time was just considered a standard Unix feature. But it was always in this weird sort of state. You could assume it was going to be on every single Unix system. But it was always a de facto standard and not guaranteed to be portable. Especially before POSIX was a thing, there were systems like SEO Xenix where egrep was missing. This was back in 1988, the same year that POSIX started. Most would consider this a broken system in a sea of egrep and fgrep. Most just assume that this was just a standard feature. And that's why when POSIX came along in the same year, egrep and fgrep were added into the POSIX standard. And to be a POSIX system, you had to provide them. Now, very heavy emphasis on the past tense nature of that, because that is not the case anymore. Because in 2001, egrep and fgrep were removed from the POSIX standard. So this is the 2017 specification, which is a revision of the 2008 specification. And this refers to utilities removed in the previous version, which is the 2004 version, which is a revision of the 2001 version. So when it says things removed in the previous version, it's actually referring to the 2001 version. The POSIX documentation is horribly structured if you couldn't tell, and nobody actually likes to read it. Anyway, utilities removed in the previous version. Amongst other things, egrep and fgrep. And for some reason, I don't understand, tar got removed from the standard. You know, that thing we often use to handle the packages we have on Linux. I don't know why. I didn't read that part of the spec. And also now states this in the rationale section of the grep page. This grep has been enhanced in an upwards compatible way to provide the exact functionality of the historical egrep and fgrep commands as well. It was the clear intention of the standard developers to consolidate the three greps into a single command. And that's why there were three separate greps, because it was the clear intention of the standard developers. You know, I feel like it wasn't the clear intention. The old egrep and fgrep commands are likely to be supported for many years to come as implementation extensions, allowing historical applications to operate unmodified. Okay then, with all of that context, we can finally talk about the GNU grep problem. The GNU implementations of the core utils or whatever term you want to be using are generally not the POSIX implementations. They are POSIX in a sense, along with having some extensions to that standard. However, in 2005, egrep and fgrep in GNU grep were marked as deprecated. This was done in the 2.5.3 release. So this right here is the change log, and this is the change in question. This was made by Charles Levert on November 8th, 
2005 in the doc/grep.1 and doc/grep.txt explained that egrep and fgrep commands are deprecated and provided for historical applications. So, at this point, they were officially marked as deprecated within the GNU project. The problem is who's reading the entire changelog for something like grep? Maybe you'll read the changelog for major applications on your system. But outside of that, a lot of people just didn't even know they were deprecated. And a lot of the people who did know didn't care anyway. They were using egrep, they were using fgrep, and they were still in the project. They worked exactly the same way they did before. Yeah, they're marked as deprecated in the project, but they're still here so I can use them. And let's just assume it was a script made during the era of Linux. There could be things that were abandoned, that were still in use, that still work perfectly fine, that were 10 plus years old. They probably weren't going to be changed, and they're just little things all around your system that are using egrep and fgrep that just probably weren't going to change anytime soon, or maybe even ever. And that's the big problem. This debate about how you should use grep, whether it's dash e or egrep or dash f or fgrep, this was going on long before Linux. So there are scripts that are using a bit of both. In some cases, depending on who actually contributes code, it might be using both in the script. So you can't just go and remove it because you will completely break systems. So it's basically stuck in this weird sort of limbo state where it's deprecated, but it's not really deprecated because there's no plan to actually remove it. And that is the state it sat in for about 17 or so years. Whilst the patch itself is from 2021, a change did happen with the release of grep 3.8 in 2022. There were a bunch of changes in this version, but the one that we care about is the second change in behavior, the egrep and fgrep commands, which have now been deprecated since release 2.5.3 in 2007. Um, that release is from two years prior to that now warn that they are obsolescent and should be replaced by grep-e and grep-f. Now, on pretty much any reasonably up-to-date Linux system, which is pretty much anything besides the old Debian stable, if we run egrep or if we run fgrep, we will get warning egrep or fgrep is obsolescent using grep-f or grep-e along with this addition to the documentation. What happened to egrep and fgrep? 7th edition Unix had commands egrep and fgrep that were the counterparts of the modern grep-e and grep-f. Although breaking up grep into three programs was perhaps useful on the small computers of the 1970s, egrep and fgrep were deemed obsolescent by POSIX in 1992 and then removed from POSIX in 2001, deprecated by GNU grep, 2.5.3 in 2007. Maybe it did release in 2007, but the patches themselves were from 2005. Whatever, doesn't matter. And changed the issue obsolescence warnings by GNU Grep 3.8 in 2022. Eventually, they are planned to be removed entirely. I don't believe that for a second. It has been deprecated for the past 18 years. It started issuing warnings for the past year and a bit. You've had 18 years to remove the functionality. I don't think it's ever actually going to be removed. I honestly think it's forever going to be in this weird limbo state where they say they're going to remove it, but there's no actual concrete plan to get it done. And it probably shouldn't be removed. There is still so much use of egrep and fgrep out there. It's not like this is some driver that nobody runs, that nobody's going to miss. Like, this is still being used out there, and it's going to cause damage if it gets removed. And if it's never going to be removed, how about we just stop pretending that's going to happen? I can understand your frustration, and maybe it would have been a simpler solution to undeprecate the tools in the documentation and have them be official GNU enhancements as they de facto have been for the past 20 plus years. If you want to consider their entire time in Unix, it's more like 40 or so years. And I really struggle to find myself disagreeing. Considering how entrenched it is, it's really difficult to justify actually removing it 
when what? It adds maybe a couple of bytes of extra storage use. Like, it's not a big deal, and it's not like there's any maintenance burden in having it. It's just a one line that redirects you to running this command instead. Now, as for this Reddit thread, there is a lot of mixed opinions here, and as you can see by the scroll bar, uh, there is a lot of people that replied to this. A lot more replies then there is upvotes, so you can kind of assume that it's a very, you know, mixed what people have to say about it. The general breakdown is two separate camps. One is a lot of users saying it's basically your own fault for being 20 years out of date on what the standards actually are, and now there is a warning saying don't actually use this, that's kind of your own fault for not doing any research over the past 20 years. And I can understand that concern, but as I said earlier, a lot of people just don't read release notes, and when they see something change on their system, that's when they actually see the change. And a lot of others are saying, as this has been a de facto standard for decades upon decades now, it basically is part of the project, and you can't really get rid of it like you can with just something that doesn't matter. There are so many scripts out there that have been written making use of egrep and fgrep that even if you want to deprecate it and even if you want to remove it, you will have to go and fix those scripts yourself. Yes, there are commands that can be used to fix the scripts, but over and over and over again, you are going to keep running into scripts that have egrep and fgrep in them, and this is going to be a whack-a-mole for years into the future. So going back to that question I said at the start then, when is it okay to deprecate old functionality? You can deprecate it whenever you want to, but if you want to just remove it from the project, that's a really difficult thing to do, and I think the kernel is right when it says don't break user space, which isn't exactly the quote, but it's good enough for what we're saying here. If somebody is using a feature, and that feature isn't a maintenance burden, is there any real reason to actually remove it? Yeah, you might want to clean up the project, but if it's a widely used feature, you can't just remove it unless you want to go and do that cleanup for yourself. But what do you think? Do you think it's time to just pull the plug and break the functionality? Do you actually use egrep and fgrep to this day and didn't even realize that they were supposed to be deprecated? I'd love to know. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe to the Verify link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and F that grep.